Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2018 American science fiction and thriller movie called Higher Power. This movie delivers a very deep meaning about the relationship between father and daughters. Make sure to watch it till the end to find out. The movie begins with a quote telling that he will create his own god to save the world. A mad scientist called the Controller is doing research about a power that can transform a man into a superhuman when a mysterious guy suddenly contacts him through encrypted messages telling him that he knows about the professor's work and him being kicked out by the organization. The guy then offers a plan to bring the research into reality that will be used to save the world from the upcoming apocalypse. Because the invention needs a subject, the controller immediately begins a research through DNA analysis until he finds a man, Joseph Steadman. The scene jumps to an interview with an astrophysicist, Michael Swofford, who claims that gamma ray bursts will be the last thing that mankind will see before the apocalypse. He adds that a high mass star is going to collapse which will emit two narrow gamma ray beams and Earth is lying directly in the path of the beam zone, meaning that the Earth will be destroyed. On the other side, Joseph or Joe is a recovering alcoholic and currently works as a security guard at Redlock. He replays the old recording showing his quality time with his daughter on the seashore. He told his daughter Zoe three magic words, one for three, which stands for I love you. Turns out that the controller has been observing and filming everything Joe does. The system then reveals that Joe is undergoing psychiatric treatment for depression and suicidal tendencies, so he wants to kill himself, and he also has an anger problem. Zoe unfortunately only makes things worse for his father. She thinks Joe was responsible for the death of her mother and hates him for that. Surprisingly, she's having a relationship with Michael. On the other hand, Rhea, Zoe's younger sister, is a drug addict and is constantly being utilized by a pimp, Nico. The controller's men keep following and tracking Joey's daughter's movements. While at the library, Michael mentions finding somebody that increases the possibility of a more optimistic future for mankind. A recording shows that before Joey's wife's death, he used to have a harmonious family. Ray was still a very happy teenager and Zoe still loved her dad. He then tries to reconnect with Zoe but it seems like his daughter doesn't want to meet him again. He even ends up punching Michael which makes Zoe furious. That night while driving, Joey attempts to call Rhea trying to fix things with her, but she doesn't pick up the phone. He then pulls over and starts drinking again while flashbacking his memories with his wife. He promised her to keep their family together but he failed. A few moments later, a man who has been hiding in the back seat kidnaps him and brings him to the controller. He implants a chip into Joey's eyes, which allows him to see what he sees, shows him what the controller wants to see, and talks to him. When Joe awakens, the controller forces him to grab a pistol and kills a woman. At first he resists to do so, but he threatens him that his man will kill his daughter. Joe reluctantly follows his order. Turns out that the gun is empty and the woman is the controller's agent who is testing his obedience. At this point, a huge star has just exploded and the beam is currently heading towards Earth. Joe awakens and is directed by the controller to break into his boss's house. His boss, Charles, is the president of Redlock. While monitored, Joe manages to get in and orders Charles to bring him the safe, where a laptop is being kept. He then scans his finger on the fingertip scanner and it reveals that Joe's DNA is compatible. Charles finds the opportunity and hits Joe with a base, taking his gun away. He spots the optic implant knowing that the controller is the man behind this. Turns out that Charles was the controller's boss and he reveals the reason he kicked him away from the project, saying that it was too dangerous. After that, Charles is shot to death by a drone. Joe is ordered to cut the man's thumb and escapes from there. He continues his mission, this time the controller commands him to head over to Redlock's head office. Upon arriving, he is told to wear a mask while a drone deploys gas bombs which immediately kills all Redlock's employees. The controller explains that their lives mean nothing in comparison to the bigger picture which is to save the world. Joe then arrives at the main facility where he uses his boss's thumb to open a door that leads him to a huge generator. Joe is forced to get into the huge device if he wants his daughter to live. The generator starts working creating a very bright light that eventually changes the DNA sequence inside Joe's body. Not long after, the generator explodes and the controller reports to his higher power that the mission is successful. Zoe sees the news on the TV and regrets her actions towards her father earlier. Joe, who is covered in aluminium foil, awakens in his house and discovers that he has now vast superpowers. Every time he is angry, he can cast a purple colored destructive beam from his body, which amazes the controller. With his power, Joe is now able to start a motorcycle without a key. To unlock his greatest potential, the controller commands Joe to head over to Nico's location. 
He arrives at a brothel and finds Nico, who distracts him with the camera's flashlight and knocks him down. Realizing that Joe is Rhea's father, Nico then purposely shows a video of Rhea being seduced by him. Joe is enraged and suddenly emits a very bright light, destroying the whole place. However, the controller is not satisfied as Joe still hasn't developed the required stress level. Nico's friend attempts to kill him, but the superhuman is immune to bullets. The pimp tries to hit Joe with his car, but he casts a gamma ray beam that kills Nico instantly. A few moments later, the police arrest him and Joe is brought for questioning. Because the police think Joe is a terrorist, the controller orders him to tell the detective that he has planted bombs at a Four River shipyard, which makes him panic and they immediately go to the shipyard. The controller then tells Joe that he must arrive there before the police or they will be killed by the explosion. He then escapes from the police station and heads over to the shipyard with a stolen car. However, he is distracted by other police officers. Therefore, with his power, he then transforms into a light blast and travels at the speed of light. On the other side, the controller's men come to Zoe's house and kidnap her and her boyfriend while the police arrive at the shipyard and start searching for bombs. Luckily, Joe arrives on time and manages to take the container with the bombs to the sky before it explodes. However, the debris hits the plane's machine, causing it to fall. Using his power, Joe manages to prevent the plane from hitting the ground and brings it to a safer place. Joe goes to Zoe's house, only to find out that she has been kidnapped and the controller threatens to kill her. He is able to track her location just by touching the laptop screen and immediately rushes there to save his daughter. Upon arrival, he casts an electromagnetic shield to protect his daughter. The controller's men try to shoot him, but they are just wasting their bullets as it gives no effect at all to the superhuman. He easily eliminates them. Shocked that her old man is still alive, Zoe finally apologizes to him for what she had done. However, it turns out that the mysterious guy that contacted the controller earlier was Michael. Meanwhile, the gamma ray beam is getting closer and closer to Earth. Realizing that, Michael immediately grabs a pistol and shoots Zoe to death in front of her dad. Joe is furious and kills him. However, he realizes that he is unable to save his daughter. He apologizes for leaving her alone after his wife's death. To make things worse, the controller's men find Rhea and kill her while the controller broadcasts it live to Joe. The death of his daughters makes Joe reach the peak level of his anger. He starts emitting a huge amount of purple light spreading across the whole earth. The light even reaches outer space, creating an electromagnetic barrier that fully covers and protects the earth. Trapped, the controller states his final words that he has successfully created a god. Fed up with his bullshit, Joe kills him to shut him up forever. However, Michael and the controller's plan to save the world is a big success as Joe's superpower manages to absorb all the incoming gamma ray beams, preventing it from destroying the Earth. On the other side, Joe's promise to his dead wife is finally fulfilled as he revives both of his daughters with his power and regroups them. At the end of the movie, Rhea and Zoe meet at the seashore and it seems like Joe has fully transformed into a superhuman form forever. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.